Boolean searches are extremely powerful for recruiters. It really is a top three tool for any recruiter or recruiting agency. I'll show you exactly how I use it to find home run candidates and how I use it to make a lot more money. Go, go, go. So I'm gonna share my screen here in a second and show you exactly how I kill it with Boolean searches. But before we jump in, if you're a recruiter, be sure to punch that like button and subscribe and check out recruiterrocket.io for free stuff to build your recruiting agency and come join the free Facebook group. The link is down below in the description. So what exactly is a Boolean or Boolean search? However you, you phrase it or pronounce it. It's simply a way to search for specific parameters with candidates or whatever it is that you're searching for. So if an employer, for example, came to me and had a crazy search like, hey, find me a football player or a basketball player that also has accounting in their background, we can do that. This is what the search would actually look like. All right, let's dive into my computer and just run over a few very basic examples. And there's a handful of useful tools or commands, I should call them, when you're running these Boolean searches. So you can tell the system to find exact matches of phrases or words by using quotes. So this is the first thing that we'll cover. So if you, if you entered in manager in quotations, it's only going to show you profiles with that exact phrase. So it's not going to show you profiles that have management or managing listed in their profile. On the other hand, if you do want variations of phrases or words, you're going to use an asterisk. If you enter in manager with that symbol attached to it, it's going to show you profiles with those variants. So it'll show you manager, management, managing. One thing that I'll do very often is I want to include all keywords or all the skills in a certain job description in my search. So I won't search in LinkedIn, I won't enter in that job title, but I'll just keep entering in all the skills that are listed in that JD. What you need to do is use the term AND in all caps in between all of those phrases. So if uh, I'm looking for a software engineer and all these skills are listed in the JD, Python, Golang, JavaScript, AWS, more and more and more, I just keep typing in Python in quotations AND Golang quotations and JavaScript quotations. So now all the profiles that are populating have all of those phrases listed in their profile somewhere, and I'm gonna have a very targeted list. Another very useful uh, piece of the Boolean search is to use parentheses, bunch things together, and really utilize and uh, and or. So here's a very basic example. Uh, we want a bunch uh, specific skills together. So in this example, you can see in the first set of parentheses, it says Python or Golang or Go. So that's a shortened phrase for, for Golang. So this is telling the system to find me a candidate that has at least one of these listed in their profile. So it doesn't need to be all of them. That's what the, the or is for. So it'll take one from this set of parentheses and then and I want to have one from this set of parentheses as well. Another example, or this is very similar to the last example, is using and in the first set of parentheses. So the parentheses here says Python and Golang. So I want a candidate that has absolutely both of these, no, no questions asked, and one of these skills from the second set of parentheses. So it could be Java, Ruby on Rails, or Rails. So every candidate that's gonna populate will have Python and Golang and one of these uh, keywords in their profile. So this is the most common search that I'm running on LinkedIn that has made me a lot of money. And this is just super powerful. It's gonna save you a ton of time and really allow you, this is the definition of working smarter. Um, is Boolean searches. So another phrase I use is not. So you'll see Python or Java. I'm looking for one of those and I utilize not in all caps JavaScript. So no, profi no profiles are gonna populate that have JavaScript listed in the skills. Hey, if you're a recruiter and you found this helpful, um, it really helps if you could like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video.